If your dishwasher's washing cycle doesn't start or it discontinues in the middle of a cycle, you might have seen an error code show up on your control panel, 4E. Now, different brands will show different codes, but it's for the same problem and it's a very similar fix. G'day, I'm Kent. The problem is the dishwasher is not going to wash any dishes while it's got that error code on it. And for a house full of people and lots of dirty dishes, that's no good for us. But before we panic and go out and buy a new machine or spend a bunch of money with a service technician or a plumber, let's do some troubleshooting and see if we can fix this ourselves. Okay, first up, checking the water supply hose. Now a 4E and sometimes it's a 4C error code that shows up here is because of an interruption to water supply. I've heard the most common reason is because of a kinked hose. So have a look at your hose, follow it through all the way to the machine. Now nothing's changed in the installation of this machine. So I don't think that that's gonna be the problem, but it's the first and it's the easiest thing to check. All right, number two, it could be just that there's been some works in the area and I've turned off the water and it's interrupted the whole water supply to the house, including the machine. So check the water supply that you've got. The dishwasher is actually using the same plumbing as the sink. We've got good water pressure at the sink, so I don't think that's the problem. And check that your tap's not been turned off for some reason. Tap's on. Okay, number three. Your dishwasher might not be filling with water because your water inlet valves filter screens are blocked. To check this, turn off the tap and remove the hose from the water supply. The water inlet hose it's normally disconnected from here, but we do have a little extension pipe, which actually means ours is here. I think it's just because the dishwasher is a little bit further away from the tap. Now with that turned off, we can undo this. Be ready with an old towel or something because some water will run out. Our little filters look pretty good, so I don't think that's gonna be the problem. The next thing to try is to em The next thing to try is get out. Number four, the next thing to do is to empty the drip tray, which is like an overflow mechanism or a safety sort of circuit with a dishwasher. So we're gonna to need to pull the dishwasher out from here. Tilting it over will drain the water from the anti-flood collection tray at the bottom of the dishwasher. So once you've drained the water, the float switch no longer detects water and it'll work again. If you've done those four checks and it hasn't solved your issue, it means that you've got a faulty water inlet valve. If your machine was working just fine and then it started showing that 4E error, then that's easy. We just need to replace this item. So I've gone ahead and gone on Amazon and spent 40 to $50 on a replacement water inlet valve or water inlet hose. That's one tenth the price of a quote that I received from a local appliance technician. And once you've bought your replacement water inlet valve, Installation is pretty easy. Let's do it together.
and that's running fine. You can probably hear it whirring away in the background, but it's still in a load of dishes. Fantastic. So that was going to cost me $457 with the technician to come and do that job that we just did. Or if I was to replace this five-year-old dishwasher with one exactly the same, it's about $600 Australian. So I think we've done very well. That's definitely a job that you can do yourself. Just follow those steps, get it repaired, and then throw away your dish brush. If you like this kind of content, I've got a couple more videos lined up for you just here, and I'll see you there.